Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Andrea and today I'm going to be sharing with you a stationery haul. The people over at Paper House kindly sent me a bunch of fun stationery items to test out, so that is what we're going to be doing today. We've got everything from pens to stickers and some washi tape. First up here we have these 12 dual tip brush pens in all kinds of fun colors. On one end is a brush tip and the other is a fine tip pen. I'm going to test out each of the markers here in my bullet journal. The fine tip glides very smoothly on the page and it matches the color of the brush tip perfectly. My first impression of the brush pens is that they glide on the page very easily and the colors are super bold. These here are called two lines pen. So each of the pen has basically two fine tip markers with two different colors. You can see the two different fine tip ends. Now when I use the pen holding it at an angle, it just gives me one of the lines. If I hold it more upright, then you get the two line effect. You're able to turn around the pen and actually get whichever color you want. If you want the two lines or if you just want one. I think these could be used for maybe some kind of headers or design around the edges of your journal. This is called a double line pen, but it doesn't have two tips like the other ones did. It seems to have leaked, so that may be something to watch out for. The tip of this pen is very big and the pen itself is very watery and it does bleed right through to the other side of the page. Here we have some cherry blossom stickers. I am very excited to try these because I haven't actually used stickers in my bullet journal before. Oh, these are so cute. I'm loving the pastel pink and they all kind of have a watercolor effect. Super pretty. This really makes me wanna do a cherry blossom theme. Look at those flowers. I'm gonna stick a couple of these on here just to show you that the backing comes off and then we'll stick it right on the journal.
And here we have some, looks like cactus and houseplant stickers. There's so many more different patterns than I was expecting. These are so cute. I wish I had these when I did my houseplant theme in March, but this definitely makes me wanna do another kind of cactus or plant theme again. I love the detail on all of these. They're just gorgeous. I'll stick one of these on here just to show you how it looks. This is a roll of tape with two different characters on it, holding a camera and a coffee cup. There's these perforated edges after each rectangle that I'm just gonna fold over and then tear off the piece. And then there's a backing on here that turns it into a sticker. But I decided to grab a new one just to show you one that isn't ripped. You could totally use this as a sticky note to write things down in your journal. And here are three different washi tapes, one for writing down goals, a weekly planner, and a checklist. These ones could be great additions to weekly layouts if you want to add any lists in there to check things off or for weekly goals. and there's everything stuck down. Thank you so much for watching and thanks again to Paper House for kindly gifting me with these products. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my previous videos. See you next time.